Hello everyone, this is group uh, three, uh, represented by Ronald Garcia, Jose Maceda, and Dancer Justin, and today we're going to be doing group activity number three. Hello, this is the presentation for the activity three in group number three. My name is Jose Maceda, and I will be doing the first problem. So, for the first problem, I had to use Multisim to simulate a DC circuit with a switch, capacitor, and a resistor to demonstrate a steady state and transient analysis. This is my circuit. We can see the switch, the capacitor, and the resistor. In this next picture, this next picture demonstrates the transient analysis diagram. This shows the current during the time it changes from one steady condition to another. We can see in the graph how the voltage changes during a period of time. In this case, it's three seconds. And with this is how we demonstrate the steady state with the transient analysis. So I'm Ronald Garcia and I'll be explaining part two of the group activity. Uh, for the part two, we had to build uh, a DC circuit with a switch, inductor and resistor to demonstrate steady, steady state and transient analysis. Here on the left, we can see our circuit with a voltage source, a DC voltage source of 12 volts. We also have a switch, a resistor, and an inductor. On the right side, we can also see that when the current and voltage reach their final values, meaning that they stop changing, the circuit reach uh, its steady state, this one, since here. Under DC steady state conditions, the inductor behaves like a short circuit. And the transient state is the period during which the current and voltage change from their initial values to their final values. That state will be this one right here. Hi, my name is Denzer St. Justin and uh, this is circuit number three. I'm going to simulate circuit number three. Okay, here we have uh, a switch first of all we have uh, the um, the power source then uh, the switch follow the, the direction of the of the current clockwise we have a uh, then after the switch we have a capacitor then after the cap capacitor we have uh, a conductor then placed across the circuit is a resistor is a 100 ohm resistor so what happened here because the capacitor is placed in series with respect to the to the inductor and the switch they place it in series we'll have a when I when I turn on the power, there will be a, a surge, a current surge, and the capa across the capacitor. Then this is a this is gonna be you know for a period of time. It's gonna be a briefer surge. Then it will go down you know to the steady to a steady state. Okay, let me run the, the body plotter. Okay. Let me simulate. Here's what happened. From steady state, then the to search and coin. And the entire circuit. The entire circuit, there's a search and current and also across the capacitor there's a current in, 
in the capacitor a quasar the the inductor and also the resistor but because the capacitor is placed in series it's a quickly goes down down to steady state but at this period of time it can be larger it can be longer longer period it depends on the capacitor and it depends on the capacitance of the capacitor higher the capacitance longer the period of time be okay so now after the surge for a brief period of time it goes down to the steady state as you should know the surge and current i explained the this I, i'm explaining this with my own words you know it's a, i'm not taking words from the books you know i know the surge and current is the is what you call that the transient the transient state it goes up from the transient state for a brief period of time again the period of time that depends on the capacitance of the capacitor and with this we conclude our group activity number 3 i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and have a wonderful